Hello, my name is Edson Oliveira and I'll be presenting this video for dnnhero.com and in this video I'll be talking about a module from, from .tetnu called Form and List. This module used to be called User Defined Table and it was recently renamed. Now what this module does, it actually allows you to create a table with information and it will present that information in a grid format and it will allow you to enter that information as well. So um, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to .NET Nook website and we will log in because we have to download the module. Let's see if this will come up to the download link at the top and under download let's go to additional module downloads are available by visiting .NET projects. So from here we do have, we I can see the, the module form and list. So we're going to download the install package. So let's click on save here. This will come up. I will agree. And I'm going to save this locally. Click it close. Once I have downloaded, I can go back to my uh, development site, my test site. I need to log in as host because we have to install the module. And from here, we go to module definitions and then uh, the action menu, install module, click browse, I'm going to go to my desktop where I have placed it, click open and then I can click next, next again, and next again, accept license. Now the module installed, everything went fine, let's click return. Let's have a look if the module is installed. Uh, scroll down. Yes, it is here. Now, it has been a long time since I used this module for uh, for the first time. So, um, we, it will be more of an exploration than really a, a tutorial here. So, what I'm going to try to achieve today is to create a, a store a list directory where we can see the list of stores that uh, that are linked to, to my site. Uh, so first thing I want to do is I want to create a new page that will call that I'll call uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna call it store directory. I'm gonna save this visible to our users for now. Let's click update. And yeah, so that's okay. Now at the top, you're gonna select the the form and list module. It should be here somewhere. Form and list module. Let's add that to the content pane. I'm going to also remove this enter text here, so I just keep one module in the page. Now it tells me that there's no there are no templates available, so we're gonna go and create a, our own form and list configuration. Okay, so here it brings me with some predefined fields that uh, are already uh, created by default. Now I'm just gonna uh, uncheck those. I don't want to make those as required fields. Well, it seems that those fields are definitely required by by default now by default but they are mandatory so what i'm going to do now i'm going to create the new fields that i want to add to my uh to my store list now click on that new column first thing i'm going to uh, create is what we call manager which will store the name of the manager of the store again just for the sake of uh of demonstration it will be uh, a text type it will be required as well display on the list view, restricted form field, not sure what this is, but so let's keep it uh, unchecked for now, and searchable, this is basically if, this, if the content of this field will be searchable in the general uh, site-wide search, so I'm just going to uncheck this as well. Under advanced column options, we also have a couple of uh, different options that we can play around, let's not do that right now, I have another field that I want to uh, place, which I'm going to use some advanced column options, at this point in time, let's just save this, so manage is done, let's create another one called uh, address, and click add new column, put the address there, it will be a text, 
it will be required as well and we're just gonna save this and we're gonna create a zip code postal code field so let's add a new one another one let's see if it will accept the slash okay let's skip everything else let's save this now we're gonna create a city field so add new column city text required I'm just gonna save this as well I'm gonna create now this field here which is country I'm going to use a drop-down box for that one so I'm just gonna create a new column it will be called country it will be it will still be a text uh, type but under list values we're gonna we're gonna use as a drop-down list and those are the two values we're gonna just keep Canada and United States uh, so those this will be the two options in our uh, drop-down list so let's save this let's add another field called phone and let's save phone number and the last one will be website I'm just gonna create a third call uh, last column called uh, website and it will be a URL okay now let's save this so we have our fields added okay now under page related settings under appearance let's let's uh, let's keep this as a form so I have selected form and it's giving us a warning to set up permissions for this module under the module settings as well so uh, at this point in time let's not talk about the other sets let's just save configuration and return now at this point I can start entering information and I will enter uh, a couple of records here uh, to, po to start populating our list so I have just populated a couple of fields with some uh, demo information as well as the the website URL I'm gonna submit this and the information was saved your submission was successful now where do I go to see the, the entry to see the, the record that we have just created so there is a uh, an option that, sh that says show records if I click there I see that I see the entry that I have uh, put in place now I can also go back to the action menu to form a list configuration and I want to check another option here set up form I'm gonna go with form above list so let's save configuration so now what we have is a form at the top and then the list at the bottom so as as I keep populating this the list will be growing uh, below so I'm going to enter now a couple more records just for the sake of testing so I have added uh, three stores and now I want to see how the end user is uh, can see this in uh, without being logged in so I'm gonna go and open Internet Explorer I'm gonna refresh this so here's what they can see they can see the list at the bottom and the form at the top but I don't want a regular user to see this form at all I just want them to see the list that I have created so to do that I can go back uh, in admin mode I can go to the action menu and form in list configurations then I can select list only appearance as list only with that I can save the configuration now I can only see the list but I do have an option to, ha to add a new record as I click here so here's the form I can still see the form but the main view only shows the list if I go back to Internet Explorer if I refresh this as a regular user I can only see the list now which is exactly what you we want the end user to see I we just want them to see the list now I can click on the title I can sort this list uh, alphabetically I can do a couple of stuff here not very complex not very sophisticated but I, it can do a basic sorting so this is the basic features of the form and list module uh, for .NET Nook in a future video I'll go with more details about the advanced settings of, of this module thank you very much bye for now